Yo, what is going on? So today I made 1488. The original one was 2700, 2600 something, but I took three trades, QQQ, 120%, SPX, 100%, Meta, minus 10%, and another trade that I took that took away a little bit of money. But let's talk about the strategies, reasoning, basically no BS, okay? Let's get to straight to the bottom of it, why I took the trades and all the stuff. Okay, so first I want you to understand the reasoning. So in the pre-market, we gapped up heavy because of the CPI, right? The CPI numbers came out, we gapped up heavy. Now this was the pre-market high. Now if you understand the pre-market high, what happens? A lot of retail traders try to go long as soon as we break the pre-market high. But imagine you are holding a play from this point. Imagine you're holding a play from um, last night when we closed, right? So you bought something at $100 and now the price is 110, that's $10 a share overnight, right? Overnight, you didn't do anything and you got the money, right? Now, what is the best point for you when you have to sell? So when you have to sell, that means someone has to buy from you, right? Now they need a buying pressure. Someone needs to be buying, that's how you'll be able to get the best price of your selling, right? So everyone, all the retail traders try to go long as soon as we break the pre-market high, right? So as soon as this pre-market high breaks, what happens? The selling pressure increases on certain names. Now, we do not go short as soon as this breaks. We go short when this breaks and it fails, and especially when it's a big whole number. So today it was on 325 on QQQs, right? It broke, a lot of buyers, retail traders, buyers came in, but the big money, Big money moves the market. Big money already caught the big move. They're like, you know what, man, we have made enough move. Now all these people are buying, all these suckers are buying. You know what? Let's sell on them. So they go really heavy. They sell on these people. Prices make big move to the downside. Now, I just want you to take away from this. After we gap up big, never buy pre-market high breakouts. Never buy pre-market high breakouts because Someone like me or someone like my team who made everybody made money is going to go short on you And as soon as this level fails everyone has their stop losses here now when you're bought and you have to sell which is your stop loss That means what what gonna happen selling pressure here gonna go up, right? The selling pressure gonna go up what happens these people are selling the selling pressure goes up what happens all of a sudden prices come down really heavy that's why these trades pay heavy so let's look at this trade that i actually took the trade was on qqqs now we gapped up so we closed roughly at 321 we gapping up to 325 the market opened right here so let's see what actually happened on a one minute chart what actually happened on a one minute chart okay i was on voice and i told everybody that qqq nvidia they can make sucker strategy this strategy is called sucker strategy i named it because a lot of people get sucked in by this Oh my god, I can make so much money. So they get sucked in this thing. So the sucker strategy, that's why it's called sucker strategy. But let's look at what happens. So look at this. We are trying to break this 325. We have failed multiple times, right? The moment it failed right here, I entered. I entered my puts. My stop loss went above high of the day, right? I was watching. I was watching this level and I'm like, you know what? It can make a really nice move at least to 324. If 324, because of this hold, if 324 gives up, we are heading down heavy and we're gonna make a big move lower, right? At least to 323. So that was my plan. So I went short right on this candle. The next candle started moving against me, but I was very confident because my stop loss, I knew my stop loss. As soon as you know your stop loss, my stop loss knew high of the day. And this was the minimum reward I was watching, right? Minimum was, you, you test it out, like, bro, I'm risking 34, 40 cents to potentially make a dollar, and for my runners, it can move to two dollars. It's a beautiful risk reward, I'm risking a dollar to make five dollars, right? Let's look at what happened. Boom, they never touched my stop loss, moved lower, <clears throat> broke through the VWAP, broke through my level, sweet. Hit my profit target, this is exactly where we sold exact point where we sold 323 was a big level we sold this was 120 percent trade the reasoning why i took the trade i explained to you does it look similar everyone is going short as soon as it breaks pre-market high big money is going short and you're gonna bank on that
you gotta bank on that this is the way to bank on this same kind of trade happened on nvidia now look at this nvidia pre-market high level right here right the pre-market high level right here it broke the pre-market high no worries don't go short let it fail so the next candle failed right here 290 what happened it went all the way down to 287 we're talking the level from 290 to 287 that's over three dollar move right imagine how much you're gonna pay you that's what happened on qqqs right that's how it paid this happened on microsoft you name it like look at this pre-market high break right here failed made a big move this happened on apple pre-market high broke failed made a big move lower this happened on multiple names you name it you say tesla okay tesla look at this pre-market high level broke made a big move lower right two dollar move down so this is one strategy if you master this strategy you will be profitable okay this is straight source that i'm giving you right so the second trade was at the same time when i was taking this qqq trade when i was taking this qqq trade i was also looking at spx the reason why i was looking at spx was because of this 4150 level i was watching as soon as we broke 4150 it's a big hole number you gotta remember this big hole number if it fails if it fails the selling pressure gonna go high why because people imagine all these people who have their stop loss sitting right here they have their stop loss sitting right here below the critical level all these people are gonna sell what happens the selling pressure goes up right and when the selling pressure goes up what happens prices really move down so I entered the contracts I entered 4150 puts expiring today I entered roughly at ten dollars ten twenty ten thirty but I entered like one contract because I was already in a trade of QQQ. I didn't want to man, you know, manage two different trades. So I entered one contract just to see what happens. We went from 41.50 all the way down to 41.30. I sold somewhere around 41.30, somewhere around here. But that's still a $20 drop. And that trade by itself brought in close to, it went to $10 to $23, but I roughly sold a little bit early, like 20 something. But it was still over 100% trade. It was still over 100% trade beautiful trade right and then I took meta so the reason why I took meta let's just quickly go over it the reason why I took meta was I was looking for it to hold as soon as it breaks the pre-market um, sorry as soon as it breaks this VWAP right here I wanted it to hold above the pre-market high so I entered when it came back to retest right here I wanted it to hold it couldn't hold then as soon as it broke I exited 10% loss and a few losses here and there, you know, little small losses here and there. But at one stage, I was up 2,600. I walked away with 1,500 because that's like my limit. If I have to walk away from green on the day, I gotta still walk away with $1,500. And I walked away with $1,500. Um, so these were the three trades that I was watching. I called it out, everybody in the chat. And look at this, $1,000, 76%, 338. Look at this, I entered two contracts, very small, after having a rough couple of days. Heard some mesh entering QQQ short, so I added two contracts. 50% on $400 position size, he made $265. 6% of the account, $1360, 200 bucks, $755, $500, 1.35%, and the day is not even over yet right it's only a few hours since the market open right and the day is not over yet so and now if you want to join the chat room and want to want me to trade live with you every single day you can check uh, the link in uh, description down below but if you want to know how i journal my trades if you want to learn how i journal my trades how i get better at my trades um so check out it would be video would be somewhere here on top maybe right on the top um, check out this video. Um, it kind of explains everything how I use Tradezilla everything check out this video And if you haven't subscribed check out the link somewhere around maybe here um, It will just subscribe to the channel and throw the like if you like this video. All right. Thank you And I will see you tomorrow. I'll make another video tomorrow. All right. Goodbye